greetings, peace, and love. So I've been taking time to look over the Moorish mission studies. And the first thing that keeps coming to me is Noble Ali in the Dominion of Africa. That is why the nationality of the Moors were taken away from them in 1774. And the word Negro, Black, and Colored was given to the Asiatics of America, who were of Moorish descent, because they honored not the principles of their mother and father and strayed after the gods of Europe, of whom they knew nothing. We'll start with this image. See, I pulled up a news article a long time ago, and it was speaking of Abdul Aziz, right? And the Europeans, they brought the sultan a bicycle, and he was riding around on a bicycle. But just like you see the child in the back, they started looking at the sultan like he was being Europeanized. And as you see, he's getting ready to fall off, man, straying after the gods of Europe. And that's why Allah made Biden fall on his bike. They started bringing the Moors all this stuff, and they was getting enticed by it, and they sold out, just like Noble Drali said, straight after the gods of Europe. Golden cameras and bicycles. That's why the prophet had to come, because he set all of this straight. Because again, all the nations agreed to a perpetual peace, and the colonizers were supposed to let the aboriginal indigenous Moors be. So it was an independent Morocco, you Moorish Americans, because you was nationals, and all nationals are Aboriginal indigenous to the land, so they have full resources to independent Morocco, man, and all of it is in your hand. Also, I had some disputes in regards to the Sharif being turned into chief, and here's another example. In the bottom, you see where it says Sharifian? Well, it's spelled with a C-H, but that was only after it began to be translated into the Europeans' newspapers where they started spelling Sharif with the C-H. Sharifian then turned into chief or chieftain. But this was just some studies and findings that I came across, you know. As far as those that dispute, I find it very humorous because I go onto their social platforms and they don't even have a video or any kind of facts. I mean, this has been going on through the whole studies as far as Great Britain, France, you know, finding a sellout in Portugal, then making the order of Christ to take out the Muslims and the Islam dominions, the Moorish Empire. So you have, you know, King Ferdinand, Isabella. Then you got Alfonso as far in, you know, Portugal's within the Moorish Empire, but you had sellouts. But I wanted to read this in regards to the Moors assisting in navigation. This is in regards to the king of Portugal. On the following day, these same boats came again alongside when the Captain Gama sent one of the convicts to Calcutta, which I'm assuming is Calcutta. And those with whom he went took him to two Moors from Tunis, who could speak Castilian and Guyanese. The first greeting that he received was in the words, May the devil take thee, what brought you hither? They asked what he sought so far away from home, and he told them that we came in search of Christians and of spices. They said, Why does not the king of Castile, the king of France, or the Signoria of Venice send hither? He said that the king of Portugal would not consent to their doing so, and they said he did the right thing. After their conversation, they took him to their lodgings and gave him wheat and bread and honey. When he had eaten... He returned to the ships accompanied by one of the Moors, who was no sooner on board than he said these words, a lucky venture, lucky venture, plenty of rubies, plenty of emeralds. You owe great thanks to God for having brought you to a country holding such riches. We were greatly astonished to hear his talks, for we were never expected to hear our language spoken so far away from Portugal. Which brings me to another thought, so I have to pull this other book. Before I forget, I want to speak about the American Destroyer Meeting video I uploaded with Abdul Aziz, Haile Selassie, and Farouk Ali, who was calling himself the King of Egypt. I said France, Britain, like they knew who to go to, you know, as far as like Abyssinia. They say they had the Ark of the Covenant. Well, there's a building there with the Moor sitting on the outside with a red fez, and he's the only one that can walk inside. And the Europeans asked him, what's in the Ark of the Covenant? And he basically told him it's a book. But all the way around, it all has to do with the Moors. Like I said, you have a Moorish man, a Moorish priest, what they call him, sitting outside of the building that's guarding the Ark of the Covenant. Then you go to Egypt, which was the universities for all the adepts, even Nobu Ali. Then Mecca, Moors was the founders. 
because it was the Moorish Empire, the Dominion wrenched all the way across, like Noble Drew Ali said. I'll tell you something else Noble Drew Ali said. All nations of the earth in these modern days are seeking peace, but there is but one true and divine way that peace may be obtained in these days, and it is through love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice being taught universally to all nations in all lands. Islam, peace and love.